feel so bloated. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are a frequent watcher, welcome back. Today I thought I'd give you guys a little haul of the things that I bought this month and you're probably like, it's only a few days into the month. Like it hasn't even been the whole month yet. That is because I told myself that I would spend a certain amount of money a month on like things to splurge on and then after that I would cut myself off because your girl's trying to make big purchases and make big moves, uh, big moves by the end of the year and I need to stop splurging on things that I really don't need which is everything I bought this month. Some of these are neat, some of these are just like mm, whatever, they were on sale so why not? Every time I save money, something breaks down or something happens and I'm like, so anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna show you guys the things I bought this month. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so the first thing was this cropped cardigan. The back just looks like this. And I got it from Goodwill and it was $2. I love a good sale. And thrifting recently has been like my holy grail. I think I'm gonna do a video of the things that I've thrifted and just show you guys what I find. So the next thing I got was Witch Hazel. I've actually been out of this for a few months and it is skyrocketing in price because people are now realizing how amazing it affects your skin. I mean, it's probably not good for your skin, but it clears up my dark acne scars, so I use it. But it is skyrocketed in price and that was me kind of saying like, no, you don't need this, you don't need to buy it. But honestly, all of the other toners that I've been using have been very off-putting for my skin and haven't done me any justice. So I figured, you know what? My skin is honestly not progressing at all. Normally it would be clear by now. So I decided to cave, buy this $10 witch hazel, <sighs> pray for my wallet and my sanity. A next purchase that I got was Band-Aids. <laughs> Not really a big thing, but if you notice in a few of my vlogs recently, I've been wearing a Band-Aid on my thumb. It is because I was vacuuming out my car and I broke my nail. Like it, like it broke, like in half. And if you know me, you know I hate things like that. Like, ugh. Just think about it makes you want to gag. If you know the feeling of like cutting your nails too short or biting your nails too much, that feeling of like rubbing, oh my god, ew, ew, no, 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 I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. However, that is what this feels like. It always feels like there's something rubbing against it and it kind of burns and ew, okay. Next, I can't, I can't. So the next thing I bought was a full size blush. And this is the one that I always use in all of my videos. It's just from e.l.f. Uh, this was $6 from Target. I probably should have went to Walmart because Target be playing games. Ooh, Target be playing games. But it was in my face and I was like, I can't. I can't just leave it. Like, I'm already looking at it, so why not get it? So yeah, like I said, the same rosy color that I always get. So this next purchase was a huge purchase for me. And actually my first time ever using this product was a few days ago. And I never wanted to buy the little one because it was like $20 for like this little ass thing and like that is how the makeup world finesses you because they're like you know what we don't sell this everywhere let's give them the small one for 20 nope my ass waited and finally they have the big Laura Mercier translucent powder in stock at my local Ulta and I bought it. And it's actually pretty damn good. If you want an alternative to this powder, I highly recommend the Airspun Translucent Powder from Walmart. It's $5 opposed to this that was $41 after tax. This is two tanks of gas for my car. I should go take this bag right now. I should freaking return this and be like, you know what? But I will say, I have always wanted to try it and I finally did, so I'm not that upset about this purchase. It was well worth the money. As of right now, I'll give you guys another update in a month or so. <laughs> All right, so another thing that I bought was this Olay Complete Moisturizer. Um, you guys have seen this in past makeup tutorials. Uh, again, I ran out and I figured, you know what, let's use some of the stuff in my medicine cabinet that I never use and I realized why I don't use those things, they don't work. I used to have the one for normal skin but I decided to try the one for sensitive skin. I'm a little disappointed because Something about this one doesn't smell good. Like, I love the smell of sunscreen and this does not smell like sunscreen to me. It smells like horrendous, I don't know. Ugh. 
smells like booty okay it literally smells like booty cheeks and you're probably like how do you smell booty because you have a booty everybody have a booty everyone knows what booty smells like <laughs> and this smells like booty <laughs> so the next thing i bought was these bliss makeup wipes if you have sensitive skin hit these up they're in target i haven't seen them anywhere else other than target you probably get them online i'm sure they're oil free makeup remover wipes and when i say that these take off your makeup in literally like one wipe like honey honey take these and go take them and go i believe they're like six dollars uh, equivalent to the ones I used to get because I used to just get the Aveeno makeup wipes um, and those are pretty pricey as well. So these just work for my skin. They smell good and I like them. So I'm going to totally recommend those. The next thing I bought was this Mario. <laughs> don't know how to say his last name, but I got this facial spray and I used to have the rose water one. This one, however, is a new one. I just got it literally yesterday. Oh, it smells so, so good. This one is... Facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And this was 12 bucks. So, the next thing I bought were some shoes. Oh, it's, I thought it was upside down. <laughs> Originally, these were 119, and if you know me, you know damn well I'm not paying 119 for no shoe unless it's Louboutins or Gucci Mules or Jeffrey Campbell's or maybe even Balenciaga boots, I'm not gonna lie. Those are on my list. Anyways, um, I got these shoes from Lucky Brand and I am obsessed with them. They are so freaking comfortable and I got them for $41, which that's steep for me. See, the things that I have that are expensive were all gifts because People know I'm cheap, but when it comes to giving gifts, I'm like, I'll spend this, 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 and this much on you, but on me, like I can't do it. So another thing that I bought were these Levi jeans, and I have so many black jeans, I know, but because I wear them so often, they fade, so this is not a bad purchase for me. It's the way that these fit, these are 24. I'm normally a 23, but these fit so good that I was like, Let's pray I get a booty tomorrow because these fit so good everywhere else. Uh, they were originally $59.50 or all of my Levi jeans, all my Levi shorts have been 15 to 20 bucks at TJ Maxx or Marshalls because finesse in the system. I actually got these for 17 bucks. More things that I got this month are these little hair clips from Francesca. They're just leopard clips and back is like a gold detailing which I really really like I've been super into gold recently and the last thing that I bought was actually this little gold ring here this was 11 bucks at a local shop in the mall but if you guys know some really good jewelry shops or even some local jewelry shops in your town that you'd like to hook me up with please send those my way i would love to support a local small brand rather than over promoted brand that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and you enjoyed all of the random shit that i bought this month all right guys i will talk to you later bye <laughs> peace out